Billy Mays here. Are you tired of your alcoholism being boring and manageable and shit? Well, boy, have I got the product for you. Max Mofo and Anything for Views asked me if I wanted to be on their Alcoholics Anonymous podcast where they drink lots of beer and talk about their feelings. I said, fuck yes, I want to be on your podcast. Then they asked if I wanted to build a robot that force feeds them alcohol for their podcast. I said, fuck yes, I want to build you a robot that <laughs> I'm going to help them fix an issue with their drinking contests. Which they have a lot of. They just see who can chug a beer the fastest and then someone wins and it's over. You know, there's no stakes, no risk. I want to add a little, a little something, something to the equation, a little spice. You know what I mean? You know, a little spice. I'm going to make a cup that tases them if they don't drink fast enough. So let's just get started. Uh, small problem, little problem. I may have procrastinated just a little bit uh, until uh, three days before we have to film the podcast. For reference, every robot on this channel has taken at least two weeks to build. So. I'm gonna have a fun three days. Here's the absolute most important part of the project. It's a liquid level sensor that's gonna tell us exactly how much beer is left in the cup while Max and Chad are drinking. We're gonna slip it into this hole I made in the bottom of a shaker cup. The sensor's not the right size, so it sticks out the bottom a little bit, which is super fucking annoying. So let's 3D print a protector to house all the electronics. 3D print that. Now! Now! Oh, that's, that's right, I 3D printed it last night, oops. Now let's put it all together in a really cool build montage, or, we could not do that because build montages are boring as shit and I'm about to spend the next 72 hours cobbling together crap Chinese electronics like some fucked sadistic form of Lego set and I'm gonna be slamming my head against a keyboard trying to figure out how to run a website off of a goddamn cup I built. My blood is gonna become Red Bull and my mind is gonna become one with the... Now that it's two days later and I'm just a little bit closer to death, we have a cup. Now, this looks like any old normal cup that you may find in your kitchen, but for the scientifically inclined of you, if you maybe pause the video, maybe zoom in really quick, you might notice that this is no ordinary. <laughs> I spent so much time on this piece of shit. But Michael, we all wanna know how it works, said the one weird nerd in my comment section. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you. It's really a, a long and complicated, but I'll do it kind of fast. You need a computer. You need a Wi-Fi router. You need this piece of shit cup I made. The Arduino on the cup is constantly checking how much fluid there is. It's sending that to the Raspberry Pi, which is hosting a website which charts out exactly how much fluid is in the cup at any time. The website is also how you start the drinking game. You type in how many seconds you think it'll take you to finish the beer and then you start drinking. If you finish it before time runs out, cool, you win. And if you don't, you get the shit tased out of your hand. It's a win-win. Let's give you a real example though. We got the website running on this computer which is being hosted on this chip here. Now you might be thinking, Michael, that sounds overcomplicated as shit. You'd be right, but I only had three days to make this, so I didn't have enough time to buy a screen on Amazon, so it's like five times more complicated than it needed to be. Anyway, we take our apple juice, crack that open. Oh, beer tastes like shit. I am old enough to drink in this country I'm in, by the way. Don't do that if you're not the right age. I'm gonna pour it in, and you're gonna notice that the sensor will read that it's at 100 right away. That's because the sensor's upside down. Because, you know, you chug beers like this, upside down, so when the whole cup is upside down, then the sensor will be right side up. That's a lot of foam. This is not something I predicted. I don't drink beer very often. I'm not William Osman. Not an alcoholic. Yet. Now we're gonna screw on the lid. As I start to pour the apple juice, cool, it spilled everywhere. Now like someone's drinking the beer, we're gonna pour it into the cup and hopefully you should see that graph level start to steadily decrease. If I uh, did it right, I actually can't see it. I'm just gonna pray that my shit works. Now we should be reading zero. Cool, awesome, that's, wow, it actually worked. I stayed up for 36 hours programming this, it better fucking work. Now let me show you the game I cooked up for the guys on cold ones. You type in the absolute fastest time you think you can chug a beer. Let's Let's put in seven seconds. Then you just put the beer up to your mouth and hit start. So you start drinking and let's pretend Max pussies out and really can't get there in time. You just get a little taser action on your hand. I am so fucking sorry, guys. Now let's assume that they know what they're doing and they finish the beer before the timer ticks down to the zero mark. Well, if that happens, the timer stops and there's no electric shock. That's all you gotta do, stupids. Just finish the beer. How, how hard can that be? Cool, so it works. Most of the time, sometimes it goes off and it's not supposed to. And what's the worst that can happen? You know, charred skin, damaged nerve endings. I'm gonna pack this little present up for when we film the podcast tomorrow. T today. When we film the podcast today, I finished it. The day of. Cool. 
It's like I'm in school all over again. All right, I'm boys. You, I said right. Who's ready? Me, Finish. I'm starting to sober up. I, I don't like how you have to tamper with it before we start. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> are you like Michael? He is fucking evil. Ah! I hate ah, it! I don't I like that! Fucking hate no. it. That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. Oh Let's fill the evil. podcast! So we're actually doing the podcast right now. It was, it's been like 11 minutes since I fucking spilled beer all over that shitty laptop. No! Max, you wanna drink a little? Okay. Don't fucking let go of the thing or else Max can't have a go at the cup. What you're gonna wanna do is you're going to take the cup and you're gonna put it up to your mouth. And you're gonna tilt it like you would skull a beer. You're gonna give me the thumbs up and I'm gonna hit the start button. Bit up to your mouth yeah. right now. Hold, hold, hold on to it. Give a good hold on there. Bro, yeah, I don't know about this. I nice so want to randomly shock me. No, see it? Uh, no, 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 no. We haven't hit the button yet. I'm so, scared, bro. I'm scared. I think. So we, we, so, so I'm put so it at a 45 degree angle. It's gonna, I'm, it's, I'm scared, bro. It's, how many, how many volts is this? No, fucking thing about it. it. Doesn't matter. What does this do? It doesn't matter when it gets past 10,000. So put it to your lips. <laughs> put it up to 45 degrees, Chad. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Like you skull a beer. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you when you start. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, drink! You better go fast, Chad! Hey, Max. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I hate you it. actually didn't make the it. time. I did, it's empty! You didn't, it, oh no, you didn't make it before the timer hit zero. I still got shocked! Did you? From here! <laughs> I don't want to So, do Max. I don't like so, that So, do you all. think you can beat Chad's... No, change the time frame! Chad's seven seconds. By the way, I set it to seven seconds instead of Run! ten. No, oh, we're, you know, we're compromising. I said five. I never fucking said five. And he said ten. <laughs> He's <laughs> definitely a fucking villain, dude. Well, hold it here. Yeah. The black don't electrocute. The white do electrocute. Okay. Oh, and... Cool, thank you so, don't... Thank you so much. Whatever you Thank do, you. whatever Thanks, no, whatever you do, don't touch this and this. Don't do that, Max. I don't like. I hate this so much. Stop. That will pass electricity through your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me in the hospital bed. Just let me fucking go. So just hold it up to your mouth. Put it on your lips. Wait, don't 40, suck it yet. Don't suck it yet. Forty-five degrees. Forty-five. Put all it, the way you're up. gonna nine, more, more, way more. Like throw your head back. Swing that neck. Swing that neck. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you it's three, two, one, go. I love this podcast. He's gonna hate this. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> My hand hurt. My hand. Max, what a champ! <laughs> oh, watching that countdown was Ow. so satisfying. Ow. 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 It's too fucked. That hard thing was real as fuck. Don't touch the two probes. Oh, oh that's the end of the cup. That is the end of the cup, ladies and gentlemen. When you threw it, it blew out this uh, the USB Thank port. Thank God. <laughs> What a couple of cunts, huh? Now, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. I'll put their episode of the podcast down in the description when it comes out in a couple weeks. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna unwind from all of this with a nice, relaxing drink. Cheers. <laughs>I go, I am finally selling Ding Dings. I got demonetized for a third time. Ding Ding is a friend. I wrote the code. My boy Ding Ding. <laughs> the stupid little penis figurines that have appeared in every single one of my videos. It's just like a little rubber dick guy with uh, with eyes. That's that's it. That's the entire thing. It's fucking amazing. What's more amazing is that Ding Ding sales are funding the destruction of a man named Dave. Now, Dave is the contact at the merch company I work with to sell the Ding Dings. He called me two months ago and he said, Michael, if it were up to me, we wouldn't be doing this right now. But the company really could use some funding going into next quarter. Do you want to sell Ding Ding toys? And I laughed and I laughed and I laughed and I laughed in his face for 45 seconds straight because that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire life. He doesn't want to sell them. It's completely against his will. He's being forced to sell penis toys on the internet. It's the it's the greatest thing. Ever. This fucking grown ass Asian man is asking me if I want to sell penis toys and obliterate his entire reputation as a merch seller. I said, fuck yes, I want to do that. He sold that penis poster too. That was him. He didn't want to do that either. At this point, it's they're great, but it's not even about the tankings anymore. It's about making Dave known 
for selling penises on the internet. They're also like the dumbest action figure you can imagine. You put them on your desk, you flick it, you throw it against a window, they stick if you throw hard enough. <laughs> he also comes in this really nice little artwork box that you should absolutely keep, and with a pair of ding ding size Michael Reeves glasses. This is fucking stupid. So if you wanna support the channel, you know what, supporting the channel, that's secondary. If you wanna help me break Dave's brain and destroy his reputation, the link to buy ding dings are down in the description below. It's only on sale for this week, so if you want one, it's gonna be gone pretty soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.